tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you mama I tell you papa too sugar latte. I did make a brown sugar syrup this morning quickly and I'm having that in my coffee. Really good. I always try to make sure that I have my coffee after I eat breakfast. It does not happen every time. I'm not going to sit here and act like it does but majority of the time it's very rare that I have my coffee before I eat just because I've just been learning more about that and just about hormones and then on top of that just with someone who's had anxiety in the past um, I don't like waking up and going straight for coffee anymore. That used to be my go-to, but I have stopped doing that. And I feel like I do sense a difference in my skin, which I used to have a lot of hormonal acne. And I just feel like that's been probably another addition to why my skin has been doing better. And my skin has been doing a lot better for a long time, but I've still been trying to do more things to help make sure that my hormones are staying balanced or as balanced as possible as a woman who's always going through different things. <laughs> anyway, this is just gonna be a what we eat in a day. I just wanna take you through some of the meals we're gonna have. I'll take you guys along as I make dinner tonight. Lunch is the only meal that is very random and kind of up in the air. If I, I'm not a huge breakfast person, so. Well, I'm a huge breakfast person yeah, and are. a what? You're a everything as long as you eat person. Yeah, and I, I eat turkey sandwiches. Lunch is kind of the meal that is, I think I mentioned in a recent vlog that it's kind of been more of a snack plate kind of situation, just been throwing a few things together, which is what we're gonna to do today as well. Um, I did buy a good amount of bell peppers from the farmer's market this past Saturday, so it'll be nice to cut up some red bell peppers for her specifically, she loves eating bell peppers. For me, I am not a huge morning eater i'm not a huge breakfast person so now that i do eat breakfast i find that i don't get too hungry in the middle of the day that's that's something i've just kind of realized so sometimes i do just have like maybe a few things that i've snacked on possibly maybe sometimes not and then i'll eat dinner so we'll see how today goes how i feel but obviously she's gonna have lunch and i'll kind of show you the snack idea that i usually go along with for her to have um, just in the middle of the day. She pretty much snacks and eats all day. I'm not even gonna lie. And you know? I feel like she has a little snack bin right here that she has full access to and she's always digging in there. You guys know that I like to prep snacks for her on Sundays when I do my Sunday reset. And so she usually has some kind of snacks that I've made from scratch in the fridge and she'll go for that as well. Today we'll probably do some yogurt with strawberries. I made some homemade granola yesterday. Yeah. But anyway, so this is what this is going to be. Thank you guys for being here, for coming along with me. 
if you've been continuously watching my videos i truly truly appreciate it i hope you guys enjoy this one as well if you're new and you do like this video go ahead and subscribe down below i'm huge on wellness health and wellness i try to cook from scratch as much i'm huge on health and wellness i try to cook from scratch as much why can't i talk I am really into health and wellness, so I try to cook from scratch as much as possible. I tend to make sure that when I'm buying things from the store, whether that's canned goods, packaged goods, whatever, I try to make sure there's no sugar. I like to use maple syrup, honey, coconut sugar as my go-to sweeteners. Every once in a while, I'll use cane sugar or brown sugar, but that's usually if I'm making a sweet treat that is very rarely so if you're interested in kind of seeing more so like healthy meal ideas, then this is definitely the video for you. But welcome to the, the video. So this is Ezzy's little lunch like snack situation. She has yogurt with strawberries and my homemade granola. I will leave that recipe in the description box. I showed it in a vlog but I think it's coming after this video. And then we have some turkey slices that I have just rolled up and then I cut up her some bell peppers. And then she's also having the smoothie that I just made. As always, ignore the washer and dryer going because laundry is always taking place in this house. But I am what I thought. I'm not hungry. So I'm just going to have a smoothie for lunch. And this will probably hold me over until we have dinner. Um, in this, I put raw milk, spinach, collard greens, hemp seeds, spirulina powder, banana and frozen mango and it's so good this is like my favorite green smoothie i love it my favorite so cheers to help guys so that's gonna conclude this video hope you enjoyed it I showed everything I ate today everything as ate today and if there's any recipes that I have that are available for me to share from what I made today I'll have it down in the description box below so you can check that out and uh, dinner was really good it was something new that I tried from half-baked harvest so I will have that for sure down below for you guys to check out but um if you have any more questions or you guys want to see what i eat in a week or 
anything that just dives deeper into food and what we eat then go ahead and leave that down in the comments and i will try to do more videos centered around food and recipes and stuff like that but thank you for tuning in make sure to subscribe down below like this video if you liked it follow me on instagram i'm ready to go get in the shower and relax and lay down. I'm so tired. I've been so tired over the last few days. I think Izzy wants to say bye. But you have to take that finger off. And uh, we're going to call it a night. So catch you guys in the next one.